Mr. Toastmaster of the night, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests, good evening. Good evening. Tonight, I will cherish a great moment in our existence journey as Toastmasters of Saudi Arabia. This morning, I received one of the best news I've heard in a long time. It was published in a young newspaper. The Secretary General of the Eastern Province Chamber of Commerce had signed a cooperation agreement with Toastmasters to open two clubs, one in Arabic for men and one in English for ladies. He signed the agreement with one of our greatest leaders, one of our greatest Toastmasters. He is no other than our dear Toastmaster Abdelaziz Dreyfus. Ladies and gentlemen, I know for sure that this agreement wouldn't have been signed <coughs> and those two clubs wouldn't have been open if Abdul Aziz Bejan had not put the time and effort to it. What can I say to praise this man? Probably I can say that my admiration to him was going only in one direction, upwards, ever since I knew him back in 1996. What can I praise in a presence? His confidence and high self-esteem? I knew him in 1996 when he joined up in plants, the place where <coughs> I know. He was a fresh, young mechanical engineer. And I was supposed to be his mentor. But this individual was too confident to inspire and too visionary to lead. Soon he was there in the lead doing what he thought he could do. And I was famous as a mentor. I met him again here in 2005 when I joined this club. At the time, he was the president of the Hardos Masters Club. And what can I praise in him? His mentorship? You see, the individual who was too wild for me to mentor was the first VP of education for this club to establish a spectacular mentorship program. He divided the club into different groups and he created a competition among those groups to deliver more speeches and score more points. What can I praise in Abdul Aziz in addition to his high self-esteem and confidence and his mentorship? His hard work. If you look at Abdul Aziz today and admire any skill he owns, you should know that he didn't get it the easy way. The English language is an obstacle that Abdul Aziz did not allow to hinder his progress in those masters. Before giving any speech, you don't know how many rehearsals Abdul Aziz did go. Whenever he assumes any role in the club, he takes it really seriously. And he thoroughly prepared for everything. What can I praise? His patience, his high determination. How many times did I see him here standing, speaking, receiving sarcastic comments from here and there, laughter that wouldn't even matter him. He would continue 
Because Abdul Aziz is the kind of person who always looks at his destination. He doesn't care about what's on his way. What can I praise Abdul Aziz? His productivity? Yes, his productivity. Okad Arab Toastmaster Club is his idea and his final product. Abdulaziz has dreamed. He dreams of having 4,500 members in Arabic Toastmasters in a few years. This sounds to be a dream that's very hard to achieve. But what I read today in the newspaper is telling me that this can come true. And it is coming true. What can I praise in Abdelaziz? If I continue to praise him, I will be disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> Abdelaziz broke all the paradigms. <laughs> Abdelaziz doesn't believe in something called impossible. Abdelaziz has the determination of a whole nation. He is a nation and one man. Oh,